And so it begins. Just a normal day. You start it, get your bowl of Cheerios, oats, what have you. You go into work, think everything's normal. You feel a little sluggish. You grab yourself an energy drink, no problems, right? You carry on with your day. Nothing else to it. Maybe you just didn't get enough sleep, you think to yourself. Next thing you know, you wake up the next day, the next week, three weeks from then, a month from then, three months from then, and it seems to just get worse. You don't know if you're suffering from depression or what the fuck. Either which way, you can't figure it out. You fine-tuned your diet, you've got more sleep, you even start meditating, you start going to church a little bit more, getting your mind right. You can't seem to understand exactly why you have so much brain fog, why you can't remember anything, why you're so fucking sluggish and you just feel like quitting everything that you start. In fact, it's hard to just get out of bed. You decide to go ahead, go into your doctor. Doctor checks you out, everything's fine, right? A couple months go by after that. It's just progressively getting worse. Now all of a sudden you find yourself falling asleep at the wheel. You almost get blindsided by a truck at one time that easily could have killed you. On another time, you almost rolled off into a ditch. Other time behind that, you almost crashed into the median. You're afraid to confess this to anyone, so therefore you keep it to yourself. You're pressing on, you're having multiple energy drinks, all sorts of caffeinated pills, all sorts of bad shit that's just fucking up your stomach. But you don't know what to do because you got two jobs, bills, fucking everything is going crazy, and it's like... How else am I going to support myself? But you have to fight on. You check into your doctor again. You say, look, doc, I don't know what's going on. Your doctor advises you to go ahead and get a sleep study. You go in for your sleep study, and they say you need further analysis. So you come in for even for more analysis. This time it's a different type of sleep study. They're hooking you up to all sorts of shit. You're getting sorts of blood tests and examinations, questionnaires, all sorts of just crazy stuff, right? Needles, things plugged up to you, what have you, and they tell you to go to sleep. You're thinking to yourself, ain't no way in hell I can go to sleep like this. You wind up having the fastest sleep time in the entire clinic's history. You hit REM in under five seconds. This is unprecedented to them, but this condition is not unfamiliar to them at all. So therefore, you go on. For further evaluation, they do a couple more blood samples, a couple more sleep tests, and next thing you know, you have been diagnosed with a terminal illness by the known by the name of idiopathic hypersomnia. There's no cure to this. And even with medication, there's no promise that you'll be okay. You think your employer will accept it, so you go ahead and confess exactly what's going on and what's your situation. You miss work a couple different times or you show up late. Next thing you know, your boss is coming to you with a notice saying that your services are no longer needed. You're in school and so far you were doing great. Everything was all right. You're studying for your tests. You're putting together your projects. Everything seemed to be cool until all of a sudden all this started happening. You're going through hell. Next thing you know, your teachers are asking you, Hey, why are you falling asleep in class? Do you not care? What's up with your projects? Do you not give a fuck? You understand, this is a time-based career. And there's deadlines that need to be met. And if you don't fulfill those deadlines, I don't know how you're going to survive in this career. You start thinking to yourself how much of a piece of shit you are and why did you get this curse? Why were you condemned with this? You didn't ask for it. It just kind of came up out of nowhere. You're trying to cope with it the best you can, but you're losing your jobs, rent's late, bills are late, everything seems to be going fucking crazy. And no matter what you do, you can't seem to get a hold on it, yet you're trying the hardest that you can in a world that doesn't accept underperformance, in a world that looks at people who are tired or sleepy as people who are lackadaisical and don't give a fuck. They ridicule you because you can't memorize as well as you used to be. Your employer is starting to get mad at you because you're forgetting deadlines. You've already lost the other job, and here you are about to lose this one. School's pissed off, and they're talking about expulsion. You look at yourself in the mirror, and you're wondering exactly what the fuck is happening to me and why. And this, my friends, is what it's like to have idiopathic hypersomnia. Like, comment, follow.